<sighs> Finally! Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. Y'all doing? I've been waiting all night to release this video, bro. It's here! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. We've gotten pretty much confirmed. It's it's happening from very when I talk about reliable source. Emily Rogers, she knows stuff. She knows stuff. She's reporting on it. Bloomberg, they have inside information on it. And Eurogamer. Eurogamer were the ones who showed us the Joy-Cons before Nintendo showed us the Joy-Cons. Legit information. I'm not even saying take this with a grain of salt. This is happening. Check out the release date for the Switch Pro and when it's going to be revealed in a matter of days. Before E3, Nintendo will be revealing the Switch Pro. Let me say that again so it can marinate. Before E3, any day now, Nintendo could release, could not release, could announce the Switch Pro Launching September, as early as September, as late as October. October is the latest this council is going to launch. I'm going to go to the articles and then I'm going to share my information. Two articles that I want to share. And there's a reason why I'm sharing these articles. All right, first, shout out to Emily Rogers. The first place I saw the information, uh, she is just an awesome person. Um, and I'm gonna say that, hey, hey, she is, she's awesome, and she's reliable, she's, she is spot on reliable. All right, here we go. Nintendo, this is a Bloomberg article. Nintendo plans on upgraded Switch replacement as soon as September. All right, announcement of new Switch could be made ahead of June's E3. Suppliers say Nintendo likely to price new model above $299, so it's gonna be um more, Priced more than $299, which is good news for me. Why? It lets me know it's going to be more powerful. All right, here we go. Nintendo plans to begin assembly of its new Switch as soon as July and release the upgraded replacement for its four-year-old game console in September or October. People familiar with the matter said. The new console likely to be priced higher than the $299 original may be announced ahead of the E3 conference starting June 12th to allow publishers to showcase their full range of Switch games at the global event. So I don't even know, you need to go to the second article. That's why I was going to the set second article. Um, um, Nintendo will be announcing this console ahead of E3 so that developers could show off games, games, Two things I would, I'm looking for with this console. Of course, it's going to be more powerful for that. So that's great. I hope it can be powerful enough. My third party game test will be 2K. <laughs> if it could run NBA 2K22 at 60 frames per second on par with the other consoles. I'm not expecting it to be at the same resolution level as the PS5. But frames third party games the frame rate has to be on par and oh man if you've been watching my videos you already know what gif i'm gonna put up achievements come on nintendo come on let me see that y'all are giving us more features and achievements is a good 
marker. I want my Nintendo gaming history to be recorded for me, bro, so I can look back, look at the games I 100% completed, all that stuff. This is a no-brainer. Call it Nintendo Power. Your power level, your Nintendo Power level. You heard it here first. Bookmark this video. All right, let's keep going with the article. Um, they want it to release at E3 so publishers can showcase their full range of Switch games at the global event. The people said, asking not to be named because the plans are not yet public. Mm -mm -mm. This is happening. It will be sold alongside the 199 Switch Lite with the standard Switch phased out over time. Assemblers will start shipping the new model whose commercial name is known only to a handful of people within the Kyoto based company. So we don't, we're calling it the Switch Pro, but we don't know what it's gonna be called. As early as July, and production is planned to ramp up to a peak in the October, December quarter. This is despite widespread semiconductor shortages that have affected the supply of everything from automobiles to TVs, headphones, and gaming consoles, including the Switch itself. Nintendo spokesman declined to comment. All right, Nintendo has to compete for gamers' attention with a new console generation introduced by rivals Sony and Microsoft in November. There are PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X machines beefed up with visual fide fidelity, speed, and performance of their predecessors, and both have been in extremely limited supply since launch. I hope this thing has some kind of SSD, but I'm spoiled now with these instant load times on my PS5. I am. The Switch makers responsible will... Um, Alright. Yeah, the Switch makers' res response will be to upgrade this flagship console with a 7-inch Samsung display, OLED display, and faster NVIDIA Corpse graphics silicon, making it capable of 4K output when docked to a TV, Bloomberg News previously reported. So the rumors that it could, it would be able to produce 4K images. But again, my biggest thing is the frames, man. I don't want Nintendo to fall behind like they did with the, the Switch. Frame rates on these third-party games were horrible. All right. And so, all right. Is this the same? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, we're going to continue. An upgraded Switch can be extremely valuable in extending the life cycle of the platform. Both Sony and Microsoft had had success with mid-cycle upgrades as a means to drive growth for the live services. And this becomes a greater driver for Nintendo. Not fragmenting the user base across different platformers would be advantageous. So, it's probably going to run the same games higher frames and so no there might be some games that hey it just can't run on the old switch third-party developers always have that choice all right pricier components and rising labor costs in china are likely to push the new switch price up from the 299 that the console has been at since its launch in march all right though the final retail price is not yet known suppliers expect their per unit revenue from business with nintendo to increase Nintendo shares rose for six straight days ahead of Thursday, bringing it closer to all-time highs on apparent expectations of an imminent announcement of the new hardware. All right. Suppliers are confident they can fulfill Nintendo's orders despite the ongoing ship shortages. Its production lines are better prepared for the potential component shakeup and the parts Nintendo is using are subject to less competition than those in its rivals more powerful consoles wow and so it looks like nintendo may not have the same shortage strain as sony and xbox all right still the company's ability to meet the consumer's demand won't be guaranteed oh it's going to sell out <laughs> As a dirt of display drivers, ICs, and Bluetooth chips have led to production of the incumbent Switch stopping and starting several times, the people said. Nintendo president Furukawa said at its earnings press conference earlier this month that demand for the Switch remains high and the company wasn't able to produce as many units as it wanted. And so, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Switch Pro... Uh, an announcement expect any day now once that announcement drops you already know we're gonna be talking it could be today bro 
we're going to be talking about it also today sonic um presentation i will be live streaming that at 12 eastern standard time 12 noon and the big one today horizon forbidden west state of play at 5 p.m eastern standard time i will be live streaming both the news is lit e3 season best season for gamers what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bruh